Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing the Schmincke Tundra set. And the first watch you're seeing here is Tundra Blue, which is PB29 Ultramarine Blue and PBR7, which is Brown Iron Oxide. The second swatch is Tundra Violet, which is Ultramarine Blue and Goethite PBR6. The third swatch is Tundra Green PBR6. Goethite and PG-19 Cobalt Green. The fourth swatch you're seeing is Tundra Pink, which is PB-29 Ultramarine Blue, PR-233 Potter's Pink. And the last swatch that you're seeing is Tundra Orange, which is PR-233 Potter's Pink, PBR7, Brown Iron Oxide, and PY43, Yellow Ochre. Schmincke was founded in 1881. It's a German brand, and these are professional watercolor paints. In the beginning of the video, the swatches I had were on Arches Hot Press, and the sketchbook I'm going to be using today for my painting is the Etcher Mixed Media Sketchbook and with cold press paper and the brushes I'm using are the silver black velvet brushes size 6 and 10. The Schmincke Tundra set was released in December along with the Forest set. I do have these sets available on PeachyPigeon.com, my website, starting at $15 for 0.3 milliliter all five colors and there's also 0.5 milliliter and 1 milliliter. So today I'm going to be painting a jellyfish. I've always loved jellyfish my whole life. I just really like how they just seem so, you know, free and floating. Like they're kind of just being carried by the current and going wherever it takes them. I know it's probably a lot more calculated than that. They probably know exactly what they're doing but I just like to think of it that way so my reference photo is from Unsplash and a shout out to the Unsplash family um, so I've actually been stung by a jellyfish when I was younger my dad used to take me and my cousins to New York with my mom and we would stay up in Sag Harbor New York there's some really nice cabins up there and there's the Sag Harbor Bay, like, right at the bottom of the hill of the cabins. It's, you can see it from wherever you're staying. It, it's really beautiful. But anyways, the, the bay is very calm. And at certain times of the year, usually in the summer, the jellyfish, they kind of get swept in closer, you know, into the shallow water. Sometimes you can't really avoid that. I mean, there's sometimes you don't want to go in the, that water at all, but they're kind of hard to see the ones that stung me. They're small, like maybe the size of a baseball, and they have like a reddish orange color on the top of them, but overall they're like a very faint, like clear ivory color, if that makes any sense. and. If you even touch them in the in the slightest, like if you're anywhere near them at all, you get stung. It it, it doesn't hurt a lot, but it you feel it once you get out of the water. So you get out of the water, and all of a sudden you're really itchy everywhere, and and then you look down and you see that you have a big red spot, and you're like, oops, went too close to the jellyfish. Um. I'm not sure what kind of jellyfish I'm painting here because when I looked at it, it just, it said that it was in a, some kind of national park. I, I can't remember, but it, it definitely looks like a jellyfish that you don't want to mess with. I'll, I'll say that. And so for the tundra paints, what do I think of the tundra paints? I really enjoy them, to be honest. Like, there's not a lot of complaints that I have. They're they're beautiful. They granulate beautifully. They separate beautifully. Um, 
one thing I thought I I would mention that I've heard people complain about. Uh, uh, I've heard a lot of reviews focusing on them being mixtures of pigments, and I already have to mix a lot of colors to begin with for a painting, and if I can find a really awesome color, it does awesome things like color separation and, and granulation that is already made for me and it, I don't have to sit there and fiddle with it forever. It's, it's less mixing time for me. So my fiance is the one editing my videos and I asked him to edit this one in real time because I, I really like the way it looks when somebody's painting real time and we cut it real, we cut it down. There was a lot of mixing time, you know, uh, probably about, you know, 40 minutes and we had, you know, he cut it down a lot for me. So anything that helps with mixing time is nice in my opinion. Um, these colors do separate more with the wet on wet technique. They're all four out of five stars for light fastness, except one is five. I think it's the green. Um, they do lift very nicely. This part that I'm on right now, actually, where I'm putting in another layer of Tundra Violet, I end up putting it in the wrong areas towards the bottom outer corners of the jellyfish, and I had to come in and lift it. I'm not sure if I did that on or off camera, but it lifted great because <clears throat> the way I the way I did it here it, it was looking like too much of a straight line at the bottom and I needed it to curve more at the edges and I was able to do that very easily which was nice. Um, my favorite color from the set is probably the tundra violet i love that it's like a rusty blue the way it separates it just looks like it just looks like rust which to me was always an interesting look even though it's not health wise not very good for you i think it would be really cool to paint like a rusty car or some rusty pipes or some urban sketching, like some buildings, get that vintage rusty look. Ooh, I should do that. Um, I do like them all though, and it's really hard to choose any kind of favorite or anything like that. I love watercolor in general. It, it's one of my favorite mediums. Um, so it's definitely interesting to use all five tundra uh, colors in a painting but the limit does not exist to what you could do when you add just one of these colors to your painting the limit does not exist I'm currently painting a monochrome owl with tundra violet and some uh, no yes some other non tundra colors so as far as the reference photo goes, I'm, I'm going to try to link it because the colors are like, this jellyfish was born to be painted with the Tundra set. Like, I got it perfect. Like, it, it literally has these exact colors. It, it's like crazy. I, I was like scanning the unsplash site and I, I tend to always want to paint birds of course and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go do the explore I think it was like the, the nature either nature or environments some something like that and I scrolled down and I saw the jellyfish and I was like ooh that's perfect um so yeah that's that's pretty much what I have to say. Um, this part was actually one of my favorite parts, painting all the little squiggly wiggles. That that's tundra violet and it's really concentrated and I think I did well, except for my head coming in. That I didn't do go so good with, but my fiance helped me edit a lot of that out. I was 
I was pretty mad at myself for my head being in the shot constantly. But, nice flowing lines.
This concludes today's review on the Shminka Tundra set. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe as it helps me in the algorithm. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.